हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टेक्नेट गाइड फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ टू कॉन्फ़िगर डेस्टिनेशन नेट इन पालो टू फायर सो फ्रेंड्स डेस्टिनेशन स्टैटिक नेट वी कैन कॉन्फ़िगर ऑन पालो टू फायर टू पब्लिश आवर सर्वर ओवर इंटरनेट एज यू कैन सी इन दिस टेक्नोलॉजी वी हैव टू सर्वर सर्वर हंड्रेड एंड सर्वर टू सो इफ वी want to publish this server over internet then we have to configure destination net here okay dnet on palo alto firewall so dnet means so traffic will come from the outside internet hit on the firewall public interface okay this interface and it will be translated to this ip okay it will be translated to this ip so that is called destination net here okay in this in the destination net destination ip will be translate to destination okay actual destination here after destination net we can able to access this server from internet here okay we can able to access so before going to start i am going to show you this is my configuration this is my outside interface okay outside interface and this is my dmz dmz zone and this is my lan zone okay so I want to access this server from publicly public okay so I will hit traffic on this my public interface then it will be translated to this IP so my outside interface IP 1 slash 3 here so let us start here so for server 100 I will use public IP virtual IP 192.168.1.1 and for server 2 server 200 will use public ip 192.168.100.202 okay so when traffic hit on this interface this ip it will be translated to server 100 100.100 and when traffic hit on this ip it will be translated to this one okay so let's configure it dmz and outside okay so just click here net okay so you can see this uh, this net is configured for access internet here okay to lan segment okay now we'll add another net policy outside to dmz server 100 okay now original packet my original packet source will be source zone will be outside okay and destination zone also will be outside because traffic will hit traffic will coming from the outside and hit will hit on the outside interface okay source address source address will be any okay and destination will be my destination address will be 192 168 100. One zero one, okay. Hundred dot one zero one. Now translated packet. Source address will be none. Source address translation will be none. Destination address will be static IP. Then translated to this server, okay. When it will hit one zero one, then it will be translated to. 192.168.100.100 okay source will be any okay now click on okay so friends we have configured net rule for server 100 now we'll configure net rule for server 200 okay server 200 so let's just click here and click on clone this type here server 200 okay original packet source from the outside destination outside now destination address will be 102 it will be translated to server 100 ip translated address will be 200. Dot 200 okay 200 dot 200 okay 
now click on ok so we have created policy net policy so you can see 100.101 translated to 100.100 100.102 will be translated to 200.200 okay now we have to create security policy just add here policy outside to dmz okay now source will be any source zone will be outside destination source address will be any okay destination so destination zone will be dmz okay and destination address so now destination address will be our public ip 192 168 100.101 okay 100.101 now action will be allow sorry we have to add both one outside to dmz we can add both destination here add 102 also 192 168 100.102 for both server okay now click on okay now for outside we have to above it okay outside to dmz now click on commit now friends net policy configured here and is committed now let's try from the internet so just telnet here telnet 192.168.100.101 for server 1 public ip okay server 100 so it should be connected sorry uh, my translated packet will be 172 172 16 100 or 100 okay and here also my translated packet will be 172 16 okay now click on commit in progress now close policy installation successfully done so here i will initiate traffic on 192.168.100.101 telnet so you can see just login here says go so you can see it's translated to server 100 okay it's translated to server 100 now let's exit now let's me show you when I will initiate traffic on 102 okay then it should be translated to server 200 so let me show you Cisco Cisco now you can see it's translated to server 200 okay it's translated to server 200 here okay let's check the logs here go to the monitor and session logs session browser you can see when I initiate traffic from source is 100 to 200 and destination 100 to 102 so it's translated to 116 170 to 16 200 to 200 okay so my net is working here so let me show you another scenario friends okay port translation so so here I have used two IP 101 and 102 so 101 translated to 100 and 102 translated to 200 now what i will do now i will take only one virtual ip 192 168 100 okay i will take this ip now if user will if client will initiate traffic on 
192.168.101 port address will be 2323 then it should translate to server 100 okay now i will use same ip 192.168.100.101 same ip and port number will be 2324 then it should translate to server 200 okay we'll use only single ip here okay 101 101 